On the banks of the Bazul, crocodiles and men live and eat side by side. In this small village, these animals and humans have coexisted peacefully for centuries. We got used to crocodiles. When we were small, we used to swim in the water with them, and now you can always approach them, touch them, sit on them, even take pictures. If you have the courage to lie on them, there's no problem. The crocodiles are sacred. They don't hurt anyone. The legend is that 500 years ago, the crocodiles guided thirsty villagers to a water source. Since then, the crocodiles have been worshipped by the community and no fatal attack has been recorded. The crocodile is our totem. In fact, they represent the soul of our ancestors in this case. If they die, we bury them and make funerals for them, as if they were human beings. Tourists are welcome, as long as they can tame their fear. It was nice to see them far away, but once I had to sit, sit on the crocodile, it was a little more scary. It's great, I think it should be done at least once. It's worth it, but now that it's over, I like to keep my distance. Yet today, the harmony between man and beast in Bazul is under threat. Attacks by Islamist groups in the country have caused tourists to stay away. There are fewer tourists now. We used to have more than 10,000 visitors in the year, but currently the numbers don't exceed more than 4,000 or 5,000. Complicating the situation further, there is a decrease in rainfall in the region, a result of global warming, and the crocodile pond is drying up. In Bazul, some believe the crocodiles may once again have to lead the villagers to a more temperate land.